Benjamin Franklin was one of the most extraordinary men of the 18th century. Philosopher, inventor, and patriot, he rose from obscurity to become one of the greatest figures in American history. In our struggle for freedom, much credit must be given to this illustrious... Mouse. For it was Amos who was really responsible for the great deeds attributed to Benjamin Franklin. And here's the proof in his own words. I was born and raised in Philadelphia, in the old church on 2nd Street. Our home was in the vestry, behind the paneling. There were 26 children in the family, and with that many mouths to feed, we were naturally quite poor. In fact, as poor as church mice. And since I was the oldest, I determined to set out into the world and make my own way. If I was successful, I could help the others. But in any case, there'd be one less mouse to feed. It was the winter of 1745, and these were desperate times. Jobs were scarce, especially for a mouse, for we were a downtrodden race. Morning, madam. Could you use a handy mouse? Mouse? <coughs> By nightfall, I was becoming desperate. If I didn't find shelter soon, I'd be done for. My last hope was an old run-down shop near the edge of town. A sign over the door read, Benjamin Franklin, printer and bookbinder. Perhaps I could find shelter here, just for the night. Upon entering a strange place, I always took one good sniff as a precaution. Hmm, printer's ink. Fresh paper. Old books. And no cats. And just about as cold as it was outside. The place was full of strange contraptions. Tangles of wire. And a little round-faced man trying to write by candlelight. Good day, Mr. Franklin. Could you use a... <laughs> oh, dear, don't tell me. My last pair... Oh, what'll I do? Now I'll never get my paper out. I'm tired of his excuses. He'll settle up right now. Oh, here they come again. Open up. Open up, Franklin. We know you're in there. Pay the rent or get out. We want our money. You've got just 24 hours. Then I'm taking your friend. We're taking everything. This is your last chance, Franklin. Remember, 24 hours. You can come out now, Mr. Franklin. They've gone. 24 hours. Oh, what's the use? Oh, but you can't give up. Nothing ventured, nothing gained, <laughs> Mr. Franklin. My name's Ben, plain Ben. And just what would you do, uh, uh, whatever your name is? My name's Amos, one of the church mice from over on 2nd Street. And the first thing I'd do is figure a way to heat this place. All your heat's going up the chimney. And what would you propose? Put the fire in the middle of the room. Oh, nonsense. You want to burn the place down? Make something out of iron to put it in. See, that might be an idea. <laughs> Fixing Ben's glasses was quite a problem. He'd broken his outdoor pair as well as his reading glasses. Well, there was only one thing left. Try to make one pair out of the two. <laughs> Let me see now. Do I put the... Perhaps if I... Ooh. Yes. There we are. Amos. Amos. <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> what will I do with the smoke? Use a pipe. Run it over to the chimney. I must admit the stove wasn't much to look at, but at least... It works, Amos. It works. Naturally. Say, I wonder if we couldn't make these things and sell them. Call it the Franklin Stove. Why, maybe someday. Yeah, maybe someday. But right now, Ben, would you mind trying these? We have work to do. Uh, oh. Uh, hmm. Well, well, well. Will they do? Will they? Why, Amos, this is a great idea. Two-way glasses. <laughs> By George. By Focals. Say, Ben, this your paper? That's it, Amos. Poor Richard's almanac. Sunrise, 6.22. Sunset, 7.43. High tide, 4.20. A cat in gloves catches no mice. <laughs> Poor Richard's almanac. Poor indeed. But, Amos, consider all the information. Information? Then when the sun's up, it's up. Why read about it? Oh, well, what would you suggest? First, I'd give it a new name. Something snappy, like uh, the Gazette. The Pennsylvania Gazette. Uh, sounds all right. And then tell them what's going on. Give them some news. Real news. Wake them up. Yeah, but where will I get news at this hour? I'll get it for you. Hold everything, Ben, till I get back. <laughs> Which nobody can deny. The night watch. Disgraceful. But what about the judge? A few pounds took care of him. Good. Now to fill our pockets, eh, Jonathan? <laughs> <laughs> Due to our inadequate fire department, the building was a total loss. Damage estimated at 490 pounds, 12 shillings, sixpence. Got that, Ben? Right, Amos. Then let's go to press. Lowercase t. Lowercase t. Uppercase s. Uppercase s. Uppercase a. Uppercase a. Lowercase t. Lowercase t. Uppercase s. Uppercase s. Space. 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 Semicolon. Semicolon. Another space. Uppercase r. Lowercase o. Uppercase t. Lowercase t. Space. Lowercase space. Upper e. Upper e. Lower r. This fella Franklin comes right out with it, don't he? Sure does. Well, look at this. The baker's wife. Triplet. Well, I know. Hey, did you read this? More taxes in 46. I see there was a big fire on Chestnut Street last night. Why, he's got everything in here. Tom Painting, Franklin's new paper. Yeah, the Gazette. The Pennsylvania Gazette. The Pennsylvania Gazette. By evening, everyone in Philadelphia was reading the Gazette. Well, Amos, we're a success. What a day. What a day. Yes, Ben. Oh, what a day. Now I can pay my bills and you can have cheese. Cheese. Mm. Good night, Ben. Good night, Amos. Whenever Ben appeared in public, he... Uh...